Hello and a very warm welcome back to Northwestern Models. Today I'm going to show you how to put together the very popular Pub Benches kit. So let's get started. As always, with these smaller foreground kits, they come in the little plastic bags uh, and all the parts should be inside. Just carefully take it out. So we have at least two frets, well I should have two frets with this, and a selection of instructions as well. And there should also be included in here, um, as you can hopefully see there, a number of different uh, umbrella tops to put on. Uh, so you just cut these out at the appropriate time and just pick which ones you want to use. So you've got quite a, a good selection of different ones that you can use um, in the kit. So let's <coughs> excuse me, turn to the instructions. And obviously in this kit there's two types of bench. You've got the traditional um, long bench, um, which would be with these parts here, but we've also got the, um, the newer round benches as well. So I'll make up one of each of these so that you can see how it goes together um, and then you'll be, able to, well, you'll be able to see how it goes together. So the first one we'll do will be the, the long bench which are the parts A, let's start with part A. Um, and again as with all the foreground um, kits you do get a full set of colour picture instructions to help you along the way. So let's start cutting out some parts. Right, I've zoomed the camera in a bit more because these are quite small parts for you so you can see a little bit better. Um, and now we've cut out the basic uh, parts for for the bench, which would be the two top parts and the two legs. Um, and we're going to stick them together with the um, trusty rocket card glue from Deluxe Materials. Um, and again, like with all the other kits, you just follow the instructions. And the first one is to stick the base and the top together. So um, I'm going to pour a little bit of the rocket card glue on the back of the underside piece. Just it out a little bit. And then stick the top piece on top of it. So hopefully you'll see there, that's those two pieces together. Just going to leave it to dry upside down like so. So the next pieces to go in will obviously be the legs. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and these obviously slot in to the slots in the bottom of the base into there. Like that. So it's worthwhile doing a little dry one first. So let's test that one and test the one for the other side. Now these legs do have etched um, detailing on them on one side only where you can see little uh, sort of rivet details and things like that. Uh, it's not quite sharp enough to pick up on the camera um, but if you get one of these kits you will certainly be able to see them. So with the rocket glue I'm just going to pull a little bit in each of those little slots and then put the legs in, the making sure I've got them the right way around, the detail bits on the outside. And the other one. And I'm just going to leave that to one side just to dry out. Whilst we then get the final couple of parts for it, which is the seats, which are again on one of the main frets. So I'll cut these three. Another one. And 
And again, with the seats, we've got etched details in there <coughs> to represent planking and, and rivets and things. So we can bring our bench back in and put it the right way up. And we have a little bit of glue on each of the seat bases on the uh, legs. We can then attach the seats to the rest of the bench. Now you may need some little tweezers or something to make it easier for you, but I've found that quite easy. Um, let's turn it around so I can do the other side. This doesn't need a lot of glue, just a little bit just to hold everything in place. So, so there we have one traditional picnic pub bench. So I'm now going to leave that one to one side to dry, whilst we then turn our attention to one of the round tables. <coughs> Excuse me. And the round tables are under the B. Um, coding. Um, so again I'm just going to build one of them up for, to show you. Let's cut the parts out there, those ones, and I'll also cut out um, some of the seats while just while we're here. Um, as we'll need four for this one. That's enough of those. Just so that they're ready to go on at the appropriate moment. And obviously we then need um, some of the legs. Now the legs come in three parts. You've got a long piece, or actually is it four parts? It might be four, it might be a number of parts. Um, so we've got, there's two, there's two long pieces for each one, uh, which are those ones there. Let's take the middle out of that one. <clears throat> and then there's four of these little split ones um, which make up the other sides. So let's get that one to actually come out of there. Um, so th these will obviously make up a slightly different um, arrangement on it. To one side. So again, as before, all we're going to do is cut, uh, cut, we're going to glue the bases together so, of the table. So just a little bit of glue around the top, uh, the bottom of the base and, and then stick the, the top to it. So we've got one round piece. And if you can, try and line up the, the planking with the with some of the markings on the underside. Um, it just helps um, keep it a little bit more accurate. If you <coughs> go out and see one of these pub benches um, at a pub or park or somewhere, you'll notice that the legs are in line with the planking on them so it's one thing just something to have a little look out for. So the legs go in um, very similar to the other um, legs on, on the other bench and they do just literally slot in each side and again they've got the detailing on them so do watch out for that um, but do as well just have a little test fit first, make sure that the legs are going to fit in the gap uh, just before you glue them in. So, put these on this way. So, again, a little bit of glue 
but only go as far as the centre because obviously we've got a sort of cross shape. Um, pop the bin. Side. Making sure that the little details that I've just mentioned are on the outside. Uh, so you should end up with two legs in parallel together. Just move those bits out so you can hopefully see it a bit better. Um, and then once you've got those ones on, we can then add in the little side ones. We'll go in there, each side. Again, there's two to each side. So again, just in with the rocket glue. Just pop them in, and it is it is very easy to do. As hopefully you'll be able to see. But again, do just make sure that you've got a the detail of, on the legs on the outside just to make it uh, a little bit nicer for you. And then the last one will go in there. So, and then just adjust that with a craft knife just to make sure it's fully home and nice. The good thing about these kits is because they are laser cut, um, everything should slot together incredibly easily uh, for you. Um, so then when you come to glue it, if you use something like the Rocket Card Glue, it will set uh, relatively quickly as well, so you're not going to be sat around waiting uh, for the glue to dry. So the long legs should dry now, so I've just picked those up, and as you can see we should now have <coughs> excuse me, something that is looking um, quite like a little table. Um, and again, with the seat bases, uh, it is a case of just put a little bit of glue on the tops of the legs and then carefully drop the actual seat onto the two legs um, and then just work your way around. Uh, the table just adding the seats as you go Last one. Cross now to the rescue. There we go. So in there we have one of the round benches. So they go together, as you can see, incredibly simply and very quickly. Um, so there's two of each type in the kit um, and if you want to you can add the umbrellas. So what I'm going to do is going to make up the other two benches and then um, we'll go on to making up the uh, umbrellas.
So as you can see, we've now got four benches all ready made up. And it's not taking very long to do at all, uh, which is a good thing. So the next thing we can move on to will be the umbrellas. So I'm just going to zoom the camera out just so we can see a little bit better. Um, we'll get on with those. Put those to one side. Now, in the pack, we've got lots and lots of different uh, umbrellas um, that we can choose from, lots of different colours. Um, so you really can just pick and choose uh, which ones you want. Um, so I'm going to pick out a, some brightly coloured ones so that they're a bit more obvious on the display stand. So I'll go for one of these green and red ones. And it is a simple case of just cut it out. I'm just going to roughly cut this one out first and then I'll neaten up in a minute. Yeah, so one of those. Um, let's have uh, let's have that red and that orange and black one. So one of those. Um, and we'll go for one of these, a couple of these as well, with the extra little design. So I'll go for a red and a blue one of these each. Both of those out in the middle. Now, obviously, they've provided enough in the kit so that if you do um, overcut something, there is another one um, for you to have a go with. And to cut them out, it's you know, just use a pair of scissors and just very carefully just follow along the lines. Um, so, I'll cut these four out. Um, and then we can start putting them together, ready to go on to the benches. So, as you can see, I've now got the four umbrella tops all cut out. Now, the next job is to score down each of the lines so that it folds up together a lot easier. And to do that, um, use the back edge of a craft knife or some scissors and just, with a ruler, just quite simply line up with the lines and just very carefully just put a little score mark down and just go around each one because this just allows the paper to um, fold a little bit better so that your umbrellas look a little bit more realistic rather than a round cone shape you're actually going to get um, something that does actually resemble um, quite happily a very good um, umbrella. So I'll just carry on with these. And if you use some of these umbrellas with the extra tabs on the outside, score those around those as well because they will fold down um, on you know, to, to again create that type of umbrella uh, which you can readily see at most sort of picnic sites and things uh, and pubs and things in uh, particular summer period. So yeah, as you can see, it's very quick and easy to do. You just got to line everything up, and you very quickly get the the hang of it. And just work your way around it, and 
in an orderly fashion um, and that way it's going to work uh, really well for you. And finally a little tap on there. So I'll score the rest of these and then we can get round to folding them all up. So now I've got all these scored, I'm just going to very carefully just bend each score line, not right over because we don't need it to go right over, but enough to start making the umbrella curl up into a more umbrella type shape, we'll tab as well. And you will notice on them that there is a little white tab on there um, and that's where it joins together so it will make a nice little cone type shape. So I'm just going to put a little bit of the rocket glue on the little tab. So it doesn't need a lot at all, it really doesn't. Uh, and I'm just going to attach it over like so. And the glue has actually grabbed that quite happily by itself. Um, if you're using a different glue, you may want to put a paper clip or something similar up in the edge there, um, but it will generally hold it together quite happily, um, as that one has. So I'll pop that one to one side, and I'll do this one. As well. um, with, this, with these ones, with the extra bits around the edge, I always fold the ends over first because it's a little bit easier to do it whilst it's still flat and then again as with the other one just fold it on the little ridges to create the shape Again, a little bit of glue on the tab. Like I say, you don't need to go mad with the glue, just enough on there because it will grab the paper very quickly um, and create a nice join. So that's two. And as you can see, they go together incredibly quickly. <clears throat> but do take your time with them uh, because it's worthwhile and it's quite it's actually quite enjoyable and therapeutic. I've actually enjoyed making these up today. So let's do the ugly one like that one. And finally, the last one. Just fold the edges around and then tab and make up the the cone of it. together. Like so. so that is those done. Now in the pack you should have some wire. Uh, unfortunately in my pack I didn't actually have any wire um, but we will be starting to sell um, some thin uh, wires of various thicknesses. Um, but if you are 
short of wire and you haven't been able to get hold of any, um, a thin um, uncoated paper clip could work quite well. Um, for, and this makes up the actual stand for the umbrella, the actual stick of the umbrella. But as long as you've got um, something that will fit through the hole in the centre of each of the different benches, then you should be okay. Um, and to cut the wire, um, you need to measure it out to about three centimetres, and then with a pair of cutters, just very simply cut four of them to that length. Um, now with the wire, um, if it comes in a pack it should come already painted black, um, but I'm just going, because we didn't have any and um, ours is in brass colour, I'm actually going to paint ours up a little bit later um, to put them in. Um, but all you very simply do is glue it into the bench. So. I'm going to go from the top and just put a tiny little blob of glue just in the hole. The glue wants to come down. And then I'm going to stick the little piece of wire down through the hole. That should hopefully attract some of the um, glue down with it and uh, just make sure it goes right down to the um, to the surface that you're working on it doesn't really matter if they're not dead straight in the holes um, because you always find that these umbrellas do have a tendency to like to lean over or certainly that's what I've found whenever I've been um, places that I've had them they certainly always seem to like to fall over to one side or the other uh, and the last one So you should then have four tables with four uh, little bits of wiring. So I'm just going to zoom the camera in now so that you can see. So then all that's required is to put a little blob of glue on the inside, wait for the camera to focus up again, a little blob of glue right in the centre of the underside of the umbrella. Right, so, and then you quite simply stick it on top, centre it up, and then you just literally wait for it to dry. And you just do that for each of them. And the glue will hold it, so don't panic. Last one. 
and do make sure you've got a little bit of space between each bench so that uh, the umbrellas have room to uh, stand. And there we are. Four pub benches, all complete. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you have, don't forget to give us a like. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now, next week, we're not actually going to be able to have a video because we're away on a business trip um, for all week, so we're not going to be able to have the time to put a video together. Then the following a couple of weeks after that, we've got a couple of shows. So what we're going to do for those weeks is we're going to do a mini video um, of us setting up and having a look around the exhibition at the end of each day. So those are two videos to look forward to in the next couple of weeks. So until then, happy modelling.